So I have been trying. Okay, so I don't know if you know this about me, but I am interested in music production. Um, I have been thoroughly engrossed in trying to learn everything I can. The past couple of years, ever since I started, like, you know, ever since I was imbued with a foundation, thanks to my girl, Chavis Prichet, um, kind of showed me the ropes a little bit uh, with Ableton, and then I kind of filled in the gaps and have been teaching myself every other aspect of it. Since then, you know, such a way. Uh, anyway, I've learned a lot. But I don't know how to segue from where I'm at to where I want to be, you know, the right way. I want to do so through, like, hard work and, and knowledge and stuff, not just, like, being cute and riding on my laurels, because I could probably do that well, for a couple more years at least, but... I wouldn't feel right. I had to earn things, so this way I can have more control over it. And I can share the gift. You know, there's just a lot of implicate. Well, like ten. Minutes. There's a lot of um, you know, potentials, possibilities, whatever. It's just definitely something that would be good, anyways. So I'm trying to get this scholarship. I pay for all of it. Credit to the technical school. I say you, I'm two blocks away. Little did I know. And they have, it's a 40th anniversary, so they gave away nine full scholarships. And I think I might be able to snap me one, you know, with my rhetoric, with my, you know, skill set and stuff. Because um, I'm really good at writing. Like, retardedly good. So, after I write this I have to do this thing. I need transcripts, too, apparently, which I don't have. So I, like, leave the house. Oh, this is a good idea. You know, I go, photocopy my ID. These are, like, so basic, these fucking steps I'm about to say. It's not going to seem that I'm making an epic thing out of nothing. But for me, like, things don't really go out smoothly anymore. They used to a lot. But uh, I think I've used that power sometime in my youth. So everything's a lot harder to get done and stuff. So where Anyways, I go to that, and uh, the post office is closed, and I'm like, yeah, whatever. I go to Starbucks to get it rain. So, sit. <coughs> Send it out tomorrow. Um, and hopefully I'll get the scholarship. I know I will. You know, I already know it. In my heart of hearts. In my heart of hearts! So... Is that? And then I go to the bank. I call Wingstop first when I'm on the way to Uber to the bank. <clears throat> I call Wingstop and I order some wings and stuff. The total is eleven eleven. What? And I had just been reading earlier today. I mean, I already know about the eleven eleven phenomenon. If you don't, you should probably brush up. You know, if you see eleven eleven or any kind of repeating numerology on digital clocks and stuff randomly or on computer screens and whatever. Or, um, the universe should be trying to tell you something. And you should be trying to listen. But you're probably not. You're probably, like, on your social media, like, or fucking whatever, doing some, you know, some shit, or sexting, sending, like, nude photos, or um, <coughs> photoshopping the ones that you already have taken, you know, to hide your cellulite. Because no one wants to see that. But no. I lost my train of thought. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, 11 11. It's called a leadership, whatever, look it up. I'm not going to go over the whole thing. I'm not going to do your homework for you. It's your job to figure that out on your own. Save your own soul. I can't do it. I'm not Jesus. Though, you know, there are some similarities. So I get there, I pay whatever. I have exactly, like, I don't have exactly 11, 11. I'm not going to bullshit you. But I have, <clears throat> like, 11 and some odd change. Um, but before that, I go to the bank. I'm going to the bank. It's a big deposit. So I just got my grandfather's check for Christmas, finally, in the mail. And when I walk in there... This fucking song, and I wish I would have written it down, because now it's going to bother me, but it's a song my mom had sent me, like, a while back, like a year or two ago. Like, it was this, like, Christian rock song that was kind of a little bit, like, borderline, uncomfortable, you know, because Christian rock kind of does that to me. It's, like, it's very hard to find, like, a, like, gospel is, like, good and beautiful and, like, you know, but, like, Christian rock is, like, a little bit, you can get cheesy really quick. Um, Duncan Cheek. I'm barely breathing. That was one of the only examples I know that, like, really just makes it so 
beautiful and succinct and such that like you can't deny it but it doesn't feel like preachy anyways this is another song it's kind of kind of like it's not there but it's it's very close it's one of the only ones that i kind of connected with in the recent in my memory uh really you know that wasn't like a church hymn or something but anyways so it was playing uh, on in the in the thing and i was just like oh wow so that was you know kind of a sign and then it was 11 11 this has been a day of like Signs are abundance or whatever, so I just want to say thank you, God, for the blessings and such like that, whatever. And then some guy was asking me for money, you know, nothing new there because it happens constantly. Um, I live downtown, this one happens. I feel bad, I wish I could feed them all so that their mouths would be full and they couldn't ask me for any more food. That sounds bad, but I don't mean it like that. I kind of, you know, just for the ones who take advantage of it. Um, but a lot of them take advantage of it. And there's a liquor store downstairs which charges like $32 for a $6 bottle of Sutter Home. And if you're taking the money that you make, that people have to work hard for and you're buying that, that's fucking stupid. At least be like a fucking smart drunk and like walk your happy ass over to another liquor store. It might be a little bit of a trek, but you're going to save some dollars. You know, if you don't value money, then you can't expect other people to uh, value you, I think. It might make sense. Um, let's get a little stuff in here. Uh, so yeah, so it's been like a blessed day. And then some dude was asking for money and I was like, I gave him a cigarette because I didn't really have um, you know, any money, and I was talking to him, and some guy came up and gave him 20 bucks, and was like, told a story about how he used to, like, be, uh, like, he was in Miami, and he was, like, really, like, really addicted to coke and stuff, and he was like, but I wasn't smoking, I never got to that point, but I, like, snorted a lot, because that's what they did down there, that's where that shit come from, you know, and he was like, yeah, because he's, like, he gave him the money, and then he's like, I got a story if you got some time, and the guy's like, I got some time, so I should preface with that, but that's what happened, and then lead back into, you know, fade in, to me saying what I was saying before. Uh, and he was like, yeah. And now he works for the government and he's got like four cars and two houses. And like, he's like, but it's not a come up. It wasn't a come up. It was like a, you got to go through some, God's going to take you through some stuff before you like come out and stuff. And I think it was almost like, to me too, it was to this guy because him and his girl just got kicked out of a hotel or something, allegedly. And, but I think he's probably trying to get high, but I ain't mad at him either way. Um, <clears throat> but like, he was, uh, you know, need to hear that, and I need to hear that to know that I'm on the other end of the going through the shit, because I know some shit that I've been going through, and it's been a lot of it, so, you know, maybe that means that at the other end of the shit tunnel is a shit sandwich, just waiting to be eaten, probably not a shit sandwich, it's probably like roast beef, like some Swiss, maybe a Lombardi, a little bit of like tomato, like mayo, a tiny, tiny bit, like a little squirt, like dab, dabble, dabble, double of uh, honey mustard kind of sweeten it up and if this was a sub and I was in Publix or something I'd probably say just a little bit of salt pepper just spritz and then you do like a squirt and a toot of oil and vinegar and then it like it just makes it very savory there's a lot of flavors going on in your mind but yeah I don't know I'm just gonna start documenting my days um, and reminding myself in the world how blessed I am and how blessed you could be if you just Open your eyes and you see what's going on around you because God or angels or demons or everything, they're all like all around you at all times and they try to talk to you or maybe they are, but they usually are probably trying to talk to you unless they already got you if they're not talking to you. And that's how you know that they already got you because, you know, no one gonna talk to you if you ain't listening to them. I mean, they will at first, but then they will stop eventually because people get tired of that shit. It gets old. I mean, for most people. I know that most people tune out like way early in the conversation because I I'll take things to a place and it's 11-11 now wow look at that I'm gonna go on that note uh peace bitch pray